So number three, come and play. It has combinations of skip and step. Do you remember skip? From space to space or line to line moving. That means a skip. You're skipping keys like this, always something in the middle. Left and over, that's the skip. So it's really easy to recognize the skip. Step is just like a chopstick. But skip is always something in the between. That's the skip. So in piano, skip is much easier to recognize. Now let's see, look at the score. This time line is A, where? F, G, A. That way you can find. C is two black keys first one. F is three black keys first one. So F, G, A. But the starting note is one step higher than A. What is it? That one again, B. And next note is space to space, skipping down. Then you will just skip down and go to that note. And next note is skipping again, up. So coming back to the same note, and next one is a step down, down. So you skip down and step down. That's how you're gonna read. Let's try right hand only and slow tempo. We'll start, find hand position, B finger number three, A two, G one. One, two, three, play, B. Two count, skip down. One, two, skip up again. One, step down, down. One, two, step up again. Repeat, step down, up, up. Repeat, repeat. Two, the same note. Two count, skip down. Two, skip up again. Step down, down, two count, step up, repeat, step up, down, down, step up, down, two. That's how you're gonna read. Little bit confusing because of the step and skip combinations. Let's try a little fast this time. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two. Skip up again, step down, down, two, step up. Repeat, step down, up, up, repeat, repeat. Two, same note, skip down, one, two, skip up again. Step down, down, two, step up. Repeat, step up, down, down, up, down. To count. Okay, now this time let's add left hand. Left hand is on G and D. So G, F step up is G, and D is here, middle C stepping up. So your left hand is G, G, D, G, and the same, the second line too. So let's play it, both hands together. Right hand is the same place, G, A, B. Left hand is G and D. But we start with the G first. One, two, ready, play. B, two, right hand skip down. Two, left hand the same, no right hand skip up. Step down, down. Two, right hand step up, left hand D. One, two, step down, right hand, up. Right hand, another step up, left hand, go back to G. Repeat, repeat, two, the same note. One, two, right hand skip down. Two, right hand skip up, left hand same. Down, down. Two, right hand step up, left hand D. Same, step up, down. Down, right hand, left hand, go back to G. Step up, down. You may need to practice at least 10 times to be comfortable, I guess. Now, let's play a little fast. One, two, three, four. Two. One, two, 
a second line. Two, one, two. One, two. One, two. When you can play it in this tempo, challenge yourself again the same way. The line is G. Then what is going to be? The next first note is actually an A and skip down. Skip up again and step down, down, step up, up, down, up, up, repeat, repeat. And the same way, same note, skip down, skip up, down, down, step up, repeat, up, down, down, up, up. You can read that way. Or change to the line to D. Then the first note is a step up. And the next note is skip down. So one, two, one, two. Skip up, down, down, two. Step up, same, down, up, 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 up. You can read it that way. Last song. Now let's find hand position. Line is on B. So first, let's find where is a B. C, step down is a B. But the first note starts one step lower than B. So one step lower, C. And then second note is on B. The third note is higher than B. And then the last, next note is skip down, since it's a space to space. So you skip down. So if we only see the first measure, you start from one step lower than B. Step up, up, skip. That's how we do. Let's play whole song right hand only first in slow tempo. Find hand position A, B, C. That's going to be your hand position. Ready? One, two, three, play. A, step up to B, step up. And skip down and skip up again step down down two step up step down step up down and there is rest so you don't play it one two three four the same hand position right hand where you start on a why because one step lower than B a, step up, up, skip down, skip up again, step down, down, two, step up, up again, step down, up, skip, two, three, four. Okay, let's try it a little fast, right hand only. The same hand position. Ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, step up, down, up, down, rest. Two, three, four. Again, the same A. Step up, up, skip, skip up, step down, down. Step up, up, down, up, skip down, two, three, four. This time, let's add left hand. Left hand is on A and E. If you see the first line, one A and the last ball is E. And second line, A, starting with A and going to E. Repeat E and then end with A. Now find hand position, right hand, A, B, C, left hand on A. Both start with A. One, two, three, play, both A. Right hand up, up, skip down, and skip up right hand and left hand E. Down, down, 
two, left hand the same note, right hand step up, down, up, down, left hand E, one, two, three, four, right hand A, left hand both A, step up, up, skip down, right hand C, left hand E, step down, Left hand to repeat, right hand step up. Up, step down, up. Now skip the right hand, left hand, A. One, two, three, four. Got it? Practice at least the 10 times. And if you can play it well, then speed up. Try not to speed up from the beginning. Our purpose is to read rather than playing it fast. Let's try. Little fast. One, two, three, go. well on this tempo, then challenge yourself. This time, try it, change the line name to E. E. Then your starting note will be step down and step up, up, skip, skip up, down, down, two, step up, down, up, down, rest, two, three, Four, and then the same way, E from step down. So D, step up, up, skip down, skip up, down, down, two, step up, up, step down, up, skip, two, three, four. You can practice that way. How was the lesson? Was it confusing? If you only know the five line steps and can read music, then it's confusing more because your brain is trained to play that way, converting note name, reading it, and playing it. It's hard to read as a graph first time. But later on, if we learn this way, we can do more, playing chords, reading fast, and even transposing the songs. So practice a couple more days for at least five times a day for three days, then it will come along. I hope you enjoy practicing. Next week, I will add one more line and we will start reading it on two lines. Thank you for watching this video. Good luck on your practice.